you're going to address the issue because my my child's safety is in jeopardy and mm. I'm not going to compromise. I'm not going to negotiate over that. Right. That's a good, exactly. Yep. Well, uh, you know, it's it's really weird because I've talked to parents and they say they uh, thank you for everyone who's joined the show. Um, we talk to parents and a lot of the parents don't talk to the teacher or the principal. And then I talk to principals and a lot of them say I get teachers that that come to me when they're leaving the school and say, you know, I'm. My, my child was bullied the whole time he was here. It's like, well, why are you telling me now? You know, so you have the principals that want to help that don't get the information. And you got the ones that don't care, it seems like, uh, that are receiving the information and not doing anything. So it's it's really, it's, it's got to be really frustrating, for real. But very it good, is. It is. Very good points you made. So are you ready to play a uh, live feed hot topic speed game with me? Sure, absolutely. Do I get a prize? <laughs> uh, no prize, unfortunately. But uh, we'll get to know who you are. How's that? That's that's better than a prize. Okay. So let me tell you what I did. And let me tell the audience what I did. I uh, picked a word or phrase from the hottest uh, headlines that are out there today. And I uh, put one word or one phrase uh, to it. And you have 30 seconds to place a one-word answer to the word or the phrase, all right? All right, come on. <laughs> all, right. all right, here we go. So, first one is writing. Uh, books. Books, okay. Uh, police brutality. Marginalization. Marginalization, excuse Marginalization. me. Marginalization, all right. The View, the talk show. Women. All right. Uh, books. Author. Okay. And uh, bullying. Overlooked. Oh my God, that's for sure. Accountability. Underused. <laughs> Underused. Yeah. yeah, you got that right. R. Kelly. Problem. Uh, favorite hashtag. Stop bullying. Bullying hurts. And Dr. Mildred Payton. All right. That's a good one. <laughs> Workplace bullying. Control. Control. Hashtag time's up. Me too. All right. Harassment. Bullying. And the first female president. Hmm. Coming. Coming. All right. Coming. Yeah, right. coming. It's coming. <laughs> So, I don't know who, but it's coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Should have been here long ago. So um, that book that, that you, you bring up, I'm very, very interested in that. What is uh, the best finding that you have in that book? What is the best finding or the best information that you have in that book? In my children's book? No, the black book oh. that you came up with. Yes. The best finding is that um, the teachers, sometimes the bullying was happening right in front of the teachers and they would dismiss it or they couldn't even really identify it as bullying. They thought it was just like just misbehavior or something, but they really couldn't say, oh, she, I didn't know she was being bullied. I didn't see it as bullying. So we have to be very clear about the definition of bullying. Right, yeah. Wow. They could they could not see it. Wow, it's wow. I mean I, I understand my, my wife's a teacher. Very concerning. What was that? Oh excuse me, I said it's, it was very concerning. All right, we we lost uh Doctor Payton for a minute. Let's see if she can come back in. We lost you there for a minute, so if you can repeat what you said. Okay, I was just saying that, yeah, it was very concerning, especially as a parent. So, yeah, definitely relate to those those pain areas that the, the parents were experiencing. Wow. 
So I want to remind everyone that the website is drmildredpayton.com. You can purchase the book, learn more about her. Um, is there anything that about Dr. Payton that I did not mention that you would like um, everyone to know? say is um again i just reiterate what i said earlier i'm definitely um very resilient and courageous person and again i'm on a mission to make an impact uh, in the schools and also in the workplaces because i think we our students deserve to uh, feel safe and um comfortable in school and enjoy learning and i also believe that our workplaces need to be a place where um we we enjoy going to and not being feel as if that we are uh, being taken advantage of you know, that uh, leaders are not misusing their powers. Instead, they are creating an environment where everyone's morale is up and everyone's productivity is high. So I want to make an impact in those air areas, and I'm really passionate about that. That's great. That's great. That's what we need. Well, I thank you so much for being a co-host on the show, Dr. Payton. Thank you for having me. I look Thank forward you. to seeing more of uh, your books that you bring on. Uh, if you write another book, please, be. Sh uh, you have my email. Email us and let us know so that we're able to bring you back on the show and talk about your new book. I look forward to that. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. So I well, always close my um, show with a uh, inspiring quote. Is there one that you have as the co-host of the show? Did you like to close out with today? Wow, man. Um, I don't quite have one ready. What I can say is um, believe in yourself and never allow anyone to define who you are or control how you feel about yourself. Only you have the power to do that. Don't let anyone determine your destiny but yourself. That's funny because that is mine, basically, in a, in a <laughs> nutshell. If you've watched the past shows, that's basically mine, yeah. Never allow your bully to tell your story or to keep you silent is what I say. Well, that's great. So I'm going to close out with um, a quote that a young girl from U the UK told me the other day. And it is that in, uh, the star a star cannot shine without darkness. So you got to take the good with the bad, everybody. I want to thank uh, Dr. Mildred Payton, again, for being on the show. Honestly, thank you very much. And remember that this uh, episode was um, sponsored by DrMildredPayton.com and TheBullyExposed.com, a 501c3 nonprofit organization dedicated to helping victims and survivors of bullying. So volunteer, donate, and learn more at TheBullyExposed.com. Be kind to one another and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, Dr. Payton. That's all right.